Oh my goodness, guys. I am done with the gym right now. And I killed it. Like, I am so, like, done. This workout has been bomb. Like, I'm doing this new workout plan. And it's, like, gym instead of the house. And it was a good one. So, I did back and biceps and um i did some hit cardio so like 30 seconds running 30 seconds rest 30 seconds running 30 seconds rest so i am like so my ears all over the place i'm gonna go home and eat some protein and from there i have to go to sprouts and get some items that i'm gonna need for my new meal i did start a new plan so it's gonna be a new 30 days with different um eating and also different um workouts and after I go to Sprouts, I'm going to go pick up Emma, come home, and probably eat lunch because I literally did two-hour workout with that plan that she gave me. I got to the gym like around 8.15, and it's about to be 10 o'clock, so I literally feel amazing, but the only thing that kind of sucks is my whole time that Emma is in... What is going on? There's this naked guy in the corner. Oh my goodness. The only thing that does suck is once Emma's in, in school, the whole day pretty much is in gym and then that's it. But, oh well. There's a new day and it will say I already picked up Emma. I went to Sprouts and I forgot to film it. And as you guys saw, we came to Target. Emma ended up getting like these markers. They're like dot markers. But yeah, you guys, I haven't got home to take a shower like at all. I feel so gross and so like sticky and disgusting. But Anthony's gonna work really late today. So I'm not trying to go home right now because I feel like being cooped up at the house all day drives me insane so i'm just trying to like do stuff but i went to target because i needed a blender the bullet that we have I, it broke it's just not working properly so i just got a regular blender so i can make my smoothies and stuff like that in the morning and maybe like my proteins i whenever i drink my protein drink i like to have ice with it and make it extremely like thick make it feel like it's like a smoothie or a shake or something that I'm drinking so that is why I ended up went going to get a blender so that's why we picked up at Target and obviously Emma picked up those little things but all right so I'm gonna take these out of the thing and let her play with them I'm gonna put her in her little high chair while I clean the house because it is a mess so I'm probably gonna sit her down let her play with her little coloring things and then clean up this area the living room and the kitchen hey guys this is the blender i ended up picking up from a target it was like 39 dollars, but i'm really excited about it because i'm gonna start making my smoothies in the morning and then you know for like snacks or whatever i'm gonna make like a protein drink or smoothie or something like that but i just remembered i don't have any ice so i'm gonna put in some ice right now that way it is ready by dinner time All right, guys, she loves these things. Look at how cute. You're creating art, Emma. You are creating art. All right, so we came to my parents' house with little Emma so she can run around and just get tired. I am I was actually going to take her to the gym pool. However, I just feel like I didn't want to go by myself to the gym. I like when I go with, with Anthony and he's working out or... I'm working out and then she's playing and vice versa 
So um, today I just decided to come and bring her to my parents' house. So we're just gonna chill here, try to get her tired. And then from here, we're gonna take off kinda late um, today. Emma has been falling asleep really late lately. Like yesterday, she didn't fall asleep until 11. The day before, the same thing. So her schedule is all off and her naps are all off. So I'm gonna try to get her tired. We're gonna leave here around 7.30. Gonna do like an hour and a half here at my parents and then we're gonna go home, give her a bath so I can take a shower also. And then from there, I have to go pick up my brother and his girlfriend or his fiance from the airport. They're coming back from Mexico. They took a little vacation. Um, I t drove them there and I'm gonna pick them up from the airport. So I wanna try to get home within a certain amount of time so we can take a shower, get ready that way Emma hopefully falls asleep when we're coming back from the airport so i don't know that's my goal oh my goodness so my dad is growing zucchinis in the backyard and look at this humongous zucchini it's like three times my hand oh my goodness i'm probably gonna take this one so i can cook it that's hella funny namas esta la única que está grande pa she has zucchini he has zucchinis over here too but these are little, but that one's humongous. Let's see the other one he has. He's gonna show us. Look at this big old thing. We should get cucumbers. Deberías agarrar pepinos. Pepino? Deberías de hacer pepinos. Oh, a little green tomato, so we can make some salsa. Cucumbers, <laughs> little baby cucumbers, <laughs> melons. This is why I don't like coming to my parents' house. My dad is making a torta, he's gonna fill it up with cheese, with all this avocado. And look, look at this the cheese. He grills the cheese and then he puts the bread with some butter and all of this goodness and i'm gonna be stuck not eating this this is why i don't like coming to mexican places and then to top it off they have some panecito that i really want to eat like this is like my favorite one i love to eat this with like hot chocolate or like coffee or milk that's like my favorite mm. thing right here and of course of Maybe. course they have it just putting some avocado man this is, I have I have issues. I literally want to stuff my face with this right now. Look at her. She's cleaning her little rocks. All right. So we just made it home. So I'm going to go ahead and take a shower first. Wash my crazy hair because I need to have my hair curly. I've been keeping my hair curly for four days um, during the week. So... I usually do my hair curly like on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then I strain it Friday and leave it straight until Sunday night. But today I kind of like let it go way longer than the three days. My hair is just extremely disgusting right now and it needs to wash. I don't know why I'm sharing this with you guys, but yeah, about that. I'm gonna go shower. <laughs> Remember I had got this from that one store that I go to. Um, it's a coffee body, body scrub, body wash, and body lotion. I'm actually going to use it today and just see how it works. I have not used it. So I'm going to go ahead and use the body wash um, and then the lotion just to see if it feels any different. All right, so I got out of the shower, obviously, and Emma is taking a bath right now. She's playing with her toys before I wash her up and get her in her PJs. I'm going to sneeze again. Hey. I feel like I sneeze a lot when I'm on the phone with you guys, <laughs> when I'm talking to you guys. But that lotion that I used was really nice. It feels very, like, minty. I used the body wash and the lotion today. I didn't use the scrub, but I'm assuming it'll be the same way. Like it smells minty and it feels mint, like mint feeling like a little tingling. You know what I mean? You guys know what I mean? But um, Emma was super dirty when I got her in the bath right now. She was extremely filthy. Like she had dirt 
on her so bad from being outside in my parents' house. She always gets extremely dirty whenever we go over there. So I knew 100% she needed to get in the bath like ASAP when I saw her. I was like, oh my goodness, get, get stuff all over her face. And by the way, guys, Emma's school, summer school is ending. Her last day of school is actually next week, which is crazy to me. Like, I feel like she just started and now it's ending. But of course, it was summer school. It was only one month. And then she's going to have like an, a month off. And then from there... Obviously, when the school year starts, we'll go ahead and sign her back up to school. So I'm just glad that I signed her up for summer school so she can get prepared for the full school year. And it kind of gave her like a little like routine. Um, so I really did think it was good that I signed her up for summer school, even though it was only for one month. It gave me like assurance that everything's gonna be fine with her being there and that she's gonna succeed and it also gave her like a little routine so i think it worked out that we signed her up for summer school before we put her in regular classes just to get the feel of how things are going to work um and usually summer school it's they do lots of play they don't do a lot of like work or anything like that so i think it's like the best way to start that way when she does start school and she starts doing a little bit of work, it's not too much like starting a new school, doing work and all this other stuff. If that makes any sense, what I'm trying to say. So when she is off of school, we're going to go back to regular therapy hours. Right now, she's only doing like two hours after school, Monday, Tuesday, I'm sorry, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. She's only doing after school. And honestly, she hasn't even been able to do therapy because by the time she gets off of school, she falls asleep. Um, and then we probably had therapy once, twice this past two weeks, basically. So I think that um, once she is off of school, I'm just going to put her back to regular therapy hours. And then when she starts school again, we're going to switch them back to like the two hours after school. So we'll see how that goes. But anyways, how are you guys doing? How is everything? How are your kids? Definitely let me know down below how everything is going for you guys as well. time just getting ready let me be honest i don't know a single thing that i haven't done to make you notice me let me be real here when i see you my heart starts racing but i don't know if i like this chasing and playing and waiting around it's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Alright everyone, it is now the next day um, Yesterday I went to the airport to pick up my brother and his fiance And just got back and tried to put Emma to sleep um, She did not fall asleep until like 10.30 And then this morning at 3 30 she was like waking up and i'm like oh my goodness not today but luckily she was able to fall back asleep i feel like i just did not get any sleep because when she woke up at 3 30 i feel like i could not fall back to sleep and it was driving me insane like it took me so long to fall asleep and then now it's time to wake up i'm like i am like so tired today so tired but I just wanted to say thank you all for watching. I hope everybody has a blessed rest of your day. And I will talk to you guys next time on our next video.